Hello everyone, this is Lexicon Architect, and for today's commander we're going to be looking at um, the Kinzil Current Conductor, um, a Simic legendary creature, Marefolk Scout, that says whenever a creature you control explores a land card, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped, and whenever a creature you control explores a non-land card, you put a 1-1 counter on the Kinzil Current Conductor. So the general strategy of our deck is to play a bunch of explore creatures, um, either help ramp us or buff our creatures and also filter our deck because we do have the option to put the card that we revealed um, from the top of our library into our graveyard. So at mana value one, we have hardened scales, um, which says if one or more counters we put on a creature control, that many plus one are put on it instead. Next, we have um, Seeker of the Sunlight. Um, for three mana, it explores, but we can only activate this as a sorcery. And then we have Skyglass um, Siren, a one mana flyer. Um, that when it ETBs, you create a map token. Um, and the map token is an artifact with um, pay one, tap it, sacrifice this artifact. Target creature you control explores, and you can only activate as a sorcery. At mana value two, we have Curse of the Swine as a removal spell for us to wipe the board if we need to. Next, we have um, Deep Root Pilgrimage, a two-mana enchantment that says whenever one or more non-token Merfolk become tapped, you create a 1-1 one, one blue Merfolk creature token with Hexproof. Next, we have um, Heroic Intervention to protect our board from board wipes. Um, we have Master the Pearl Trident to um, buff our Merfolks and give them Island Walk. And then they can't be blocked as long as defending player controls an island. So if we do have an opponent that does have an island, all of our mirror folk will become unblockable. Next, we have Metallic Mimic. Um, as an ETB, you choose a creature type. Um, it is a chosen type in addition to its other type. And each creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Next, we have um, Simic Ascendancy as a second win con for us. So it's a two-mana enchantment that you can pay three to put a 1-1 one, one counter onto our creature you control. And then whenever one or more counters are put on a creature you control, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy had 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. And then the last card in mana value two I want to go over is Wild Growth Walker, um, a two-mana elemental that says whenever your creature control explores, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and you gain 3 life. So this is going to allow us to um, stay in the game longer, gain a bunch of life every time we explore. At mana value 3, we have uh, Beast Within for removal, um, Cultivate to help us ramp, um, Deep Root Waters, um, a 3-mana enchantment that says whenever you cast a Marefolk spell, you create a 1-1 one, one blue Marefolk creature token with Hexproof. Um, next, let's talk about uh, Kamena, Tyrant of Orcaska. Um, a 3-mana Merfolk Shaman that says tap another Merfolk, it becomes unblockable. Tap 3 on Merfolk, untap Merfolk, control, draw a card. And then if you can, you could tap 5 to put a 1-1 one, one counter on each Merfolk creature you control. Next, we're going to talk about Mero um, Rajiri. Um, it gives our other Merfolk plus 1, plus, fun, plus 1. And then whenever you cast a Merfolk spell, you may tap or untap a tap a permanent so we can untap a creature untap a land or tap down one of our opponents uh creatures or permanent uh next at mana value four we're going to talk about distant melody we choose a creature type and then we draw a card for each permanent control of that type so if we have five mirror folk we play this for four we're gonna draw five cards next we have guardian project to allow us to draw cards whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under our control as long as it has a different name um, than the other creature. Next, we have Herald of Secret Streams. So creatures with 1-1 one, one counters on them cannot be blocked. And lastly, let's talk about Path of Discovery. A solid 4-man enchantment that says whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. At main of value 5, we're going to be playing Kindred, Kindred Discovery. Uh, when it ETBs, you choose a creature type, and then whenever a creature you control the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Next, we have Overwhelming Stampede that gives our creatures plus X plus X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. And lastly, Tatavoya Beneath Druid. Whenever land ETBs under your control, you gain a life and you draw a card. 
for utility lands we have castle vantress um to allow us to scry um let's see do we have any other ones we have hidden cataract to pay five um we can sacrifice it discover four and we can only activate as a sorcery and the last card i want to go over is restless vine stalk for five mana it becomes a five five green and blue plant creature token with trample and then whenever it attacks up to one other target creature has base power and toughness three three until the end of the turn next we have pit of offerings uh when it etbs you can exile up to two three target cards from a graveyard and then you can add one mana of any of the exile cards colors and then um let's talk about rivendell uh for two mana you can uh scry two and you can only activate it if you control a legendary creature so this deck is um relatively cheap it's going to cost you 174 dollars if you like this style of content, please hit the subscribe button that's on the bottom right of my screen in the video and have a good day.